He said he had a girl sneak in and give him hell. Really? Get off my ear. Really? Y'all, we're going to address all of this. He said he's not a virgin. Y'all, we're going to address all of it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Wait, what happened? They say, shut up. They, this is what they're telling me. This is what they're telling me. They're telling me that you this real hard ass nigga at school. Hmm. You had girls telling me that you wear the same ethical draws and that you be musty. <laughs> I was down on my looking to hit me a lick, ready to get into some since I was a jit, I had big dreams of getting rich, now we leveling up in this take a look at my kids, you know we stepping on the toughest, the first one to get hit, don't make me send a blitz, my head is itching for it, how long to spit like a list, but wait, whoa, whoa, now what's the mud from the kite deal, welcome back to Sheldon's Bullet Gas Studio, where you come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot this shit with Sheldon if you hadn't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, let's go and get up into this video today. Alright, the title reads, Mom goes live on her son's IG account to expose him. So I wonder what kind of exposing is going on. And wonder what mama got to say. Hit that like button. I'ma light my situation up. Make sure you stuff a wet towel up under the dough. Cause it's about to get smoky in this bad boy. Without any further ado, let's go and get up into it. Red now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Kid's mom goes live on his account after he gets in trouble, BT1. Who thought that this was fake or who thought that he... He lied to me too, baby. He lied to me too. Ain't no way. Guess way. Guess way. So, there we go. Y'all will see him in a minute and he will address it. But no, his mother is not dead. This is me. And his daddy ain't no drug dealer. Y'all have a good he a, he a gangster at school. He ain't no gangster in real life. So you gotta be in order for you to be considered gangster, your mom has to be dead and your dad has to be a dope dealer or something to that effect. <clears throat> Dude's got life twisted. Who that girl in the back? His sister. So <laughs> that's what we're just trying to do. Let it be known. Oh gee. He said you was dead. I'm not dead, baby. I'm right here. Okay. He told me his sister died. Ain't nobody Ooh. dead. Ooh. We all alive. Oh, Everybody died. Oh, I know. He's just going oh, to just... kill off the whole family like that. d -Zam. Whatever this is that he told y'all, yeah, yeah. He'll be deactivating. He said you died and his brother. And his brother. And he said we died in a car. At least I'm alive. Amen, baby. <laughs> Amen, baby. I am alive and I will handle this. But... Give me a couple of times. He say he don't fuck. Who he stay with then? His family be at the school every he other damn week be because oh of the shit God. that he do. So, I just wanted y'all to know. Me too, bro. Came in on this just so y'all can understand. He said, we died. So we, we not here. Again. We not so here. He said he had no family. Again. Okay. Who he live with? He was, wait, what does he say? He said his mama don't He said his mama don't do he said his mama don't do stuff for him. Somebody say he's wearing he be wearing the same not, clothes from. He not a virgin. Where he from? We about to say, yeah, the boy, do he don't do none of that. He said he had a girl sneak in and give him hell. Really? Get off my ear. Really? Y'all, we gonna address all of this. He said he not a virgin. Y'all, we gonna address all of it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Wait, what happened? Wait, wait. Somebody just joined. He said Thursday when he didn't go to school that he asked you. He said he got a girl pregnant. Okay, now some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all. Y'all so stupid. But he said he had a video of him. And a, I can find it because I have his phone. So first off, just to let y'all know, he become. So this is what I want y'all. Right here. Give me that phone right there. So this the phone that he be having. And then he has this iPhone right here. I have no reason to lie to y'all children. He's a child. That's so dang, mama, why you entertaining the children? But let's go. Exactly what he is, a 14 year old little books. boy who talking all this shit. So, yeah. He ain't no gangster. He far from they it, y'all. He people far people from it. So know. there we go. Now, we'll go back live when I get him so all of this can be addressed and you can hear it from him. Okay. 
a 3.5, the boy ain't even, the boy can't, the boy don't even, ain't got no money. He be smoking all the gas at school. Yeah. He already got in trouble for that. Well, he didn't get in trouble. He already got addressed with the school because the school. Mama look like she smoking a little gas herself. Called me. So, all of that. Just to let y'all know. He said, so he out here acting a fool, smoking gas at school and everything. His mom's a bit. Just we'll, showing his black ass, huh? We'll handle it in a little bit. But there was people who did not believe that this was going on. So it's being addressed and all of that. We'll come back later. All right. And he needed money for my funeral. Baby, the boy ain't even got no money for no damn uh bundle at McDonald's. Three dollars. You looked up to him? Oh, uh, fair enough. But there you go. We'll address it in a little bit, but y'all have a... He lied on you. Ain't no way. Y'all, the boy can't breathe wrong. The boy can't move wrong. He being watched. He being watched. So just to let y'all know all of that. And then y'all have a good day. A good one. Well, let's see what's going to happen. She don't know how to end it. <laughs> Oh, Kid's so. mom goes live yeah, on so his account, BT. Stop too. acting like you hard and moving. Look at the no. Look at the live and explain, because so many people. It's already fifty people in here. So Jalen, what? Yes. Come on, Jalen. When you skipping school, you sneaking people in my house. Yes. You smoking weed and shit like that. Yes. Am I alive? Yes, Is your daddy a motherfucking drug dealer? No, I never told nobody. The thing is, though, Jalen, if nobody, if you never told nobody that, the people that told me that, I believe them over you. Mmm, that's heavy right there. That's real heavy, man. When your mama don't even trust nothing you got to say. Sheesh. And I want you to come out here and tell everybody what's really going on. You in so that's how you want to act? You in trouble? You in trouble? <laughs> You got people that saying, oh, no, people really out here worried about you and everything of that nature. They really out here. They thinking that you hard. They mm -hmm. making it seem like you be at school mm -hmm. like you don't have no family. They say that you say that your daddy beat you all the time over little shit. Mm -hmm. They say, shut up. They, this is what they're telling me. This is what they're telling me. They're telling me that you this real hard ass nigga at school. Hmm. You had girls telling me that you wear the same ethical fuck. Where is his daddy? Cause his daddy need to be on his ass right now. Draws and that you be musty. <laughs> Bitch, I tell you, man. Watch that ass. You won't be fresh and be around girls and things, man. Watch, watch that ass anyway. Cause you gotta be around people. If you're gonna be around by yourself with nobody. Do what you want to do. But if you go out in public and be around people, wash your ass. That shit is unpleasant and toxic. You putting toxins all in the goddamn air because you don't want to wash your funky ass. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> Probably you funky have to right now. You yourself. And it's itching right now. You have to explain yourself. And I had to do this because you got a lot of people thinking that you this nigga. You got people thinking that you just really out here. Did you tell him that you fell in two classes? Get him, mama. He fell in two classes, y'all. Two. Yeah, come on. You saying it's not right? No, it has to be done by this. It has to be done because he told everybody mm -hmm. I was dead. So Jalen, what's the truth? Why you do? What's the truth? So just go ahead and clear up everything so they can hear it out of your mouth. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mama. Shout out to Mama. You feel me? Yeah, she remind me a whole lot of my mama back in the day. Minus the recording. You know? I wasn't doing none of the shit that he was doing, though. Let's be clear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
when I started smoking weed, it damn sure went on it, you know, school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. My daddy as well. She sounds like my my parents. But where his daddy at? He at work. I'm 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 assuming daddy at work. I'm assuming daddy at work. Or maybe, you know, mom and daddy may not be together, but they still have a good relationship. His daddy raising him. Yeah, sound like his daddy in his life. He just out here being a fuck up. You know? Uh and it's a lot of them out here. Yeah, you remember, I don't know if you watched any of Charleston White. A lot of people hate him. A lot of people love him. But he said that he was acting hard. Out here acting hard. You know what I'm saying? Trying to be tough because of what the music, the culture was about at the time. You know, watching movies and listening to N.W.A. and all this other stuff. So he started portraying this character at an early age of trying to be gangster. He said he came from a well-to-do family. His mama worked and all this other stuff. So he was pretending to be gangster, but pretending to be hard. You know what I'm saying? To fit in. That's what's going on right now. A lot of these young boys feel like they got to be tough to fit in or be cool and popular. Man, you don't want to be popular for that. That's the wrong reason, especially if that ain't what you come from, if that ain't what you is. You know, it ain't even cool to be that if you is that, you know. But I'm just saying, hats off to mama. She did what she was supposed to do. I don't agree with the recording and putting it on live, but hey, maybe he needed this so he can be embarrassed and realize what he got going on and change his ways. Sometimes it calls for some tough love like that. Indubitably. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel on your way up out this thing. Yes, indeed. Until next time, I'm Sheldon. Vibes, I'm gonna need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes, like you suppose. Oh, yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.